Hello and welcome to my channel. We are full on into getting ready for Valentine's Day. So today I'm gonna to be making some chocolate covered strawberries. I'm gonna do two different ways to make heart shaped chocolate covered strawberries because it's Valentine's Day, everything needs to be heart shaped. What you're gonna need for these are strawberries, obviously, and some chocolate. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips, but you can use milk chocolate, dark chocolate, any type of chocolate, white chocolate whatever kind of chocolate you like. I'm also gonna use some candy melts in pink and white to use as a drizzle. You're also gonna need some toothpicks and some decorating bags or a Ziploc bag to put the melting chocolate in. You can add some sprinkles if you want. I'm gonna add some white, red, and pink. And then just a piece of wax paper on a cookie sheet works best, but you could also use parchment paper just on something hard, but a cookie sheet makes it nice and easy to transfer to the fridge and back. So keep watching and I will show you how to make these cute little heart-shaped chocolate covered strawberries. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is wash your strawberries and then make sure that they are super dry. You don't want any water on these guys when you dip them. So I washed these yesterday, but I'm just going to make sure they're really dry. Also, I'm going to prepare my cookie sheet with some wax paper before I do the strawberries so that as soon as I dip them, I have somewhere to put them. So I just put a piece of wax paper on a cookie sheet like this and then just set that aside so it's ready. Okay, so to make the heart shape of the strawberries, I am going to cut the tops off and then cut them in half. Cut the top off. And then cut them in half this way. And then you're going to be putting the bottoms together like this to create the heart shape. And then I'm gonna use a toothpick to stick through them like that so you have something to hold on to and there, connect it. So I'm going to start by cutting my strawberries. So what you're gonna do, take your nice dried off strawberry, and I just like to pull all the green things up so they're out of the way. We're gonna cut the top off, then we're gonna cut it in half, and then with each half, we're gonna use our knife and just cut a little triangle B shape out of the top, which will create the top of the heart. I'm then gonna take some toothpicks and just put one toothpick in the bottom of each of the strawberries so it's like a little strawberry on a stick. Okay, so first just cut the top off of your strawberry. And then cut your strawberry in half. And then at the very top of the strawberry, cut a V shape out of the top. and then put a toothpick into the bottom of the strawberry. Okay, for the chocolate, you can use whatever type of chocolate chips you want. I am gonna use these semi-sweet chocolate chips, but milk chocolate and dark chocolate are so good. So you can totally use whatever kind that you wanna use. Okay, I'm going to put my chocolate in a microwave safe bowl like this. That's for the main where I'm gonna dip the strawberries in. And then I'm also gonna add some different colored drizzle on top after that chocolate is dry. So I'm gonna put some pink candy melts in a decorating bag like this. Make sure to always tie them at the top. And I also have some white ones. I'm also gonna get some sprinkles ready. If you're doing sprinkles, you wanna put those on while the chocolate is still wet before it's hardened. I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of vegetable oil to these chocolates. It won't make the taste any different, but it'll make the consistency a little bit better. When you are melting all of these different chocolates in the microwave, you wanna put your microwave on half power. So mine is automatically set at 100, so I just go to power and turn it down to 50 and then do 30 second intervals. For this, I'll just stir in between the 30 second intervals. And for these, I will just 
kind of knead it like this in between the 30 second intervals. If you use full power, it could burn the chocolate. So I'm going to get melting my chocolate. Okay, you can take it out when there's still like a couple little chunks because when you stir it up, it's hot enough that everything will melt. So it looks like this. It's a nice, runny consistency. And I just kind of use the spoon to make sure there's no chocolate in here because you want it to have that heart shape. So I just kind of go up through there. And then place it back on the wax paper. Same with these ones. You're just going to want to make sure that you go in there after and remove excess chocolate so that it still has that heart shape. Okay, and then I just have some sprinkles that I wanna add on. So I got this guy right here and I'm just gonna sprinkle the sprinkles on while it is still, before the chocolate has hardened. And then when they are done, I'm just gonna transfer them to my cookie sheet and put them on here to pop in the fridge to fully harden. Okay, I'm gonna pop my strawberries in the fridge while I melt these guys to do the drizzle on top. After it is all melted, I will just cut a tiny hole in the bottom and then just drizzle over top of the strawberries. Okay, so I got these melted and I have my chocolate covered strawberries and what you're gonna do is cut the end off and then you're just gonna go in like a back and forth motion like this over top of the strawberries that you wanna drizzle them on. You can also add sprinkles to the drizzle. So for this one, I want to have some white sprinkles on the pink drizzle just to add some white to it. Just gonna sprinkle those on. Obviously it'll look a little crazy and messy, but when you move the strawberry, it looks nice. It's just the best way to get an even consistent lines is to kind of go overboard. Okay, so I transferred them to a fresh piece of wax paper. I took the toothpicks out of these double ones just because I don't want the toothpicks to be in there when somebody eats them. These ones I'm going to leave in so it's more like a strawberry on a stick, but I removed the sticks from those ones while it was still a little bit wet and removed these from the messy piece of wax paper, and then now these are gonna go in the fridge. Okay, so once they've been in the fridge for a little bit, they should be nice and hardened and ready to eat. And they are so delicious. I love strawberries and I love chocolate, so chocolate covered strawberries are one of my favorite little treats. So I'm excited about these. And they turned out super cute. I like both of the chocolate covered strawberries, but I think I like these ones the best. It's just really obvious that it's a heart. These ones are still super cute. I just feel like it's not as obvious that they're a heart, but they're super cute and it's equivalent to eating like a whole strawberry, whereas these ones are equivalent to eating half a strawberry because they're just the half ones. 
Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and if you are doing anything exciting for Valentine's Day this year. I also have some other Valentine's Day videos from last year. I will link them below. I made some heart-shaped Rice Krispie squares last year and kind of did a similar technique where I dipped them in chocolate and drizzled on top and they turned out super cute and chocolate covered Rice Krispies, also delicious. I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday and Wednesdays are my baking day so I do fun things like make cupcakes and chocolate covered strawberries. So make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want more of that and I will see you next time. Goodbye.